All right, so when I was in Texas last, I bought a 24 foot trailer. I had to get another truck that I bought home. So I bought this and then we were like, oh, this is really close to being a two car trailer. So I'm gonna keep it. So I'm gonna sell my other trailer and make this a two car trailer. It's about two feet short of doing what it needs to do for hauling a TI and an E36 or an S13 or something. So I'm gonna extend the back of it three feet. I was gonna buy some flip down ramps, um, so that way they would flip back and give it like a little bit of an extension for it. But I figured I would just make my own setup and just make it like three feet longer permanently. So that's what we're gonna do today. I went to Eastside Seal in the morning and got some material. It's not quite enough to do what we need to do, but it's gonna do at least one side. Um, and then we can kind of go from there. So here we go. <laughs> I'm just winging it, freestyling a little bit, tacking some stuff together, see how she works. We're at our first crossroads. We don't have the right material to do this perfect, but I think it's still going to be fine. What's wrong? Well, I don't really have like a good way to connect the inside of this right here, so like I'm just going to end up welding it butted up against it. Like that one is tacked. Might work though. I don't know. So we're here at Eastside Steel. I'm picking up a couple more pieces of angle iron for the actual flat part of the ramp where we'll put the steel over top of it. So it should be, should work. I think it's gonna be fine. We're just gonna use one by one there. But I feel like with the steel plate and all the stuff we have going on, that should be fine. It's really only got to hold like 1,500 pounds per corner as it's going up, so it should be all right. We'll see. We'll find out when we try to load a truck on there and it smashes through it or something. Famous last words. Yep. We'll find out. No, it should be fine. It should be fine. I'm still going to send it. Too bad we can't rock this because your drink's in there. Dude, this had rear speakers, bro. Put the yeah, rear speakers back in there. They're gone. Missing. You go camping in this thing or what? Someday. Someday. Mm -hmm. Think the van can handle it, bro? Probably. Oh. Just gotta fold the seats down. <laughs> <laughs> so this is essentially our frame. We're gonna lay this sheet of metal on top of it. And then, uh, build another one and see if it works. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely pretty, like, it doesn't really move at all. <laughs> oh, man. We'll find out, I guess. Well, we have a car here we can load up afterwards. Not my car. Not your car? Yeah. Unless I feel like this plate will help though. Unless you're buying one of them. Unless you're buying one. I can see it already in the comments. What's that? How much of a redneck are you? For what? <laughs> For having a steel plate here? I mean, I don't think that's ghetto at all. It looks legit. <laughs> Should have done out of wood. Oh my god. Why? But at least we can get out of this from my car. Whoop, 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 Mustang whoop. joke. <laughs> Getting some welding gas. Blew through a tank. No, whatever was left in it, we blew through. We'll see. Sheets of welding gloves over here. Oh, they probably the batteries here too. Look dead out. Nothing left. All right, so we finished one side. Well, most of the way. I still got to put some angle on the end and have the ramps attached to that. So you can see it all uh, completed pretty much on this side. Um, and then the frame on this side. So, yep. Eighth inch plate, eighth inch one by two, and then one by ones for up the top. 
Um, and then we have a two by two angle iron that is, uh, I think, three sixteenths or three eighths on the side. So that's where most of the weight's gonna be in this general area. I only did big ramps like this just in case I need to load something that's really skinny or like a lawn mower or something, four wheeler, um, Tanner's van, whatever. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to blast this together and get it welded up and uh, hopefully it goes well. I got it. Thanks, bro. <clears throat> I know one uh, one way is longer than the other, so I just want to make sure. I... Three, six, nine, three, seven. Almost done with the actual extension part. Now I need to build little ramp holders. Oh, you should be good. Blow my back out. Lift with your legs, not your back. That's not a jump. Lift the whole trailer off the thing. I don't know, I think we're pretty legit, but we'll find out soon enough. Come down put here. Put two cars on it and tow it to park next week, or later this week. We're putting the giveaway car on the back. Could be bad news. Probably shouldn't do that. No, I, I trust myself. It's gonna be good. So when it falls off, Someone's getting a smashed up giveaway car. No, I'm just kidding. He'll be fine. I'm not gonna put that in now. Why? <laughs> Why would you not put that in? It's funny. I'm not gonna lose the car. People are gonna think you're serious. I'll have to refund everybody their money because there's no car to give away. Nah, we'll be fine. You can make a toy car. Make a toy car. Actually, the car doesn't really exist. It's been our six skills of video editing and CG. Nah, we'll be good. I think I put this angle iron on the end of this. It's too tall, huh? This was smaller. I would just cut a hole. Cut a slit in this? Like the other one? It looks ghetto. I need your plasma cutter. Yeah. You wanna do that? You plasma cut this? No. I don't know how to use a plasma cutter. I've only used a plasma table before. I've never used like a manual, like go for it. So we just converted 24 foot trailer to a 27 foot. And we put a dovetail on it for low cars. And we left the center empty so the exhaust and underside doesn't get caught up on the uh, other ramp. So this thing should be able to load a pretty low car, I think, because the front jacks up enough that like you could probably load a truck without the ramps because it would be almost on the ground. But we'll see. I'm gonna paint it tomorrow and uh, tidy a couple things up. I gotta put some angle iron on the bottom for the other ramps to hook up, but I didn't have enough angle iron without like making a ghetto and I don't really need to make a ghetto. So put a piece of angle iron there so those ramps can go on. And then uh, I think the next step is just gonna be, a, be to make a little stake on the side here to hold the ramps or maybe a slide out deal. We'll see. Yay, long day. Would have only been like five hours, I think, if we had everything, but we didn't have anything. We ran out of gas. Ran out of materials, all that crap. I'm curious to see if it works though. I think it's gonna be fine. I think the trailer flexes enough that it's just gonna be like chilling. But we'll see. Look at that. Well, I guess it's three wheeling right now. That might have something to do with it. Alright. We're trying to get this thing out of here. So, yeah, so again, three foot extension so we can fit two cars on here. Chelsea has a car that's about to be drifting and having some fun with. Um, I have my 318 Ti, plus like at 27 feet, I think we can fit pretty much two of any like drift car, obviously not two big cars, um, because you can have overhang and things like that. If I still can't fit what I want, I'll build a ramp to go over the front a little bit uh, and put the car like a couple, like a foot over the front of the jack up point. But I don't know, we'll see. This is a good start though. I only needed two feet to make the cars fit. So we've got three, we'll go from there, figure it out. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not really a trailer fabricator. It's my first time doing anything like that besides like welding a spare tire bracket on. Uh, but try to make this trailer a little bit nicer and cleaner and uh, have some fun welding while I was at it. And get argon poisoning.
I'm gonna try to get this thing out of here so we can sweep. It's gonna be sketchy. That's it's 100% hitting the side of your. We should just jack it up and move it now. You think it's gonna make it? No. Definitely not gonna make it. Should have planned about this before. I oh, know we blew it. It's like the guy who builds this Ferrari in the garage or in the basement. Oh, the and basement. Then he's like, uh, How do we, we get probably this thought out? about that. We didn't think about it. <laughs> All right. So jack it up and slide it. You think? I mean, let's drive it out first. Try it. Screw it. Screw it. Send it. Oh man, let's push this back. We definitely need this immediately. Because you have to come back first. Yeah. I left the hazards on for like, I don't know, what do you think, eight hours today? And the trailer was plugged in. And the hazards were on the trailer. So, jump box. This thing, you got one? No. Oh, yeah. Sit. <laughs> Your girl says you have one. Yeah, I do. Probably hers. Fired up! Yeehaw! Hear that 351 lens are running. She purrs like a cougar. Stop! <laughs> you gotta jack it up? Yeah. Okay, you're good still. Uh, you're still good. Maybe. Oh my God, stop. <laughs> um, go forward just a little bit. Oh, you're good. Whew. Things a behemoth. They're good, dude. They're good. They're good. They're Try them out. Try them out. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's up? No. So we just finished the ramps. Um, they turned out really good. I added a little bit of bracing to them, and I haven't painted them yet. So I guess they're not finished yet, but they're close. Shoot them black. Uh, I'm gonna relocate the lights that are down there. But yeah, they work good. We loaded the car. It's nice because I have six five. <laughs> Holy crap! That was loud. Huh? Headphone users beware. But yeah, so paint them black uh, with the three foot dovetail and the six foot ramp. You can get this car on with only like just a little bit of extra blocks of wood. And if you didn't care about your arrow, you could do it without it. Um, it's just the front bumper is like a big BN style front bumper uh, with felony form. So it, it gets caught up here a little bit and a little bit right here. Uh, but they're pretty strong, you know. Whole trailer flexes, and then these seem to be holding up okay with the ramps that slide in there. So I'm pretty stoked on it. Um, but yeah, so they worked out good. Two thumbs up. If you uh, have any ideas or questions or comments, let me know. Maybe there's some things you see that I could maybe improve on it. Um, but I think once we paint it black and shoot the rest of the trailer, it'll look nice and. They definitely have been holding up and pretty strong, so I'm stoked on that. Later, nerds. Lunch, lunch, lunch. Whoa, watch it, pup. You're going to wreck yourself. Huh. Sit. Don't go on the ramps. Oh. Good. Good paw. Both paws. Both paws. Good. Up. 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 Woo! You need to wreck yourself, huh? Come on.